spend a lot of your time worrying. If you, science says you might want to start a journal. Ooh. Yeah, a new study out of Michigan State University says writing things down that bother you can help ease stress and concerns. Ooh. At first blush, you might hear this and think, all right, come on, like you're worrying and just... You just need to write it down. It sounds like advice. But there's like, real science behind this. <laughs> yeah, it seems to work, Allie. <laughs> yeah, and I was thinking about this. The, the time I worry the most is usually when I'm moving, and mm. I get really stressed out. I think about it too much, and then you carry your stress. But just thinking about writing your thoughts down on a piece of paper and kind of clearing your mind, I can see how that can maybe have a really calming effect on your body. What's exciting about this, Kylie, is that this is uh, essentially free that yeah. people can do, and it's not medication. You don't it's need therapy. Uh, well, <laughs> some of you need okay. therapy. Let's we'll not get too excited. We all maybe need therapy, yeah. right? But the idea is that expressive writing kind of can clear the deck for you a little bit, takes the edge off of the brain, and allows you when you have other kind of, I mean, look, if you're worrying, the stressful tasks never it's come to an end. Yeah, it gets worse and worse. But you can and, clear out some of that mess. And this is for some, for, for someone, too, who's a chronic worrier, so someone who mm. does, you know, anxiety and whatnot, that just the act of kind of releasing that has that much of an effect on your body. And, you know, I think it makes a lot of sense because a lot of times when we worry in general, some of it's legitimate and sure. some of it is not stuff that you need to be worried about. So just by putting it down on paper and actually seeing, okay, this is what's bothering me, it, I think it, it makes a big difference. Well, and most of the time when we, like you said, Kelly, mm -hmm. when we are worrying, we're worrying about things that are never going to happen. Or we so build far out it of up our in our head and we make it into a bigger thing than it really even needs to be. This goes so far uh, as to actually affect your immune system. So in the 1980s, researchers uh, put a name to this. They called it psychoneuroimmunology. Oh, wow. So basically, it's saying that doing something like expressive writing can actually fire different neurons in your mind. Wow. And that seems to create uh, a little room for your mind and for your body to take care of other stuff. Clearing your head. So it, it, it can actually improve your immune well, that system. That makes sense. Here. Your body only has so much energy. And if you're spending all of that energy toward worrying and whatnot, it's probably not going toward keeping you healthy in the other ways. Doesn't it, if you write down your worries, can't this become like a list of reminders <laughs> of things to worry <laughs> about? Bad. I don't think it works mm. that That's way. That's not what the research says, Jason. All right. <laughs> I, it's worth a try, right? It's worth a try.